It's 2001 and the third expedition to the International Space Station. Frank Culbertson is the sole American astronaut on board. And today is the day for the crew's routine medical checkups. It was my job to uh, call that down to the ground. And so I called and I said, hey, Steve, how's it going? And uh, Dr. Hart said, uh, well, Frank, we're not having a very good day down here on Earth. It's the 11th of September. I had no clue of what was really going on. And he began to describe to me what had happened with the World Trade Center, uh, the plane that had crashed into the Pentagon. And then as we were talking, he said, another plane has just crashed in Pennsylvania. We don't know what that's all about. I raced around and found a video camera and a window facing in the right direction. The weather was perfectly clear that day. I could easily see New York City, a uh, big black column of smoke coming out of the city. And as I zoomed in with the video camera, I could see this big gray blob enveloping southern Manhattan. What we were seeing was the second tower come down. We could see New York City and the smoke from the fires. Our prayers and thoughts go out to all the people there and uh, everywhere else here. I'm looking up and down the East Coast to see if I can see anything else. It is an isolated feeling to know that you can't be with your loved ones to make sure they're safe. NASA did arrange a phone call with my wife that evening. It felt good to talk to her and know she was OK and the kids were OK. But it did bring home to me how far away we were. I just wanted the folks in New York to, to know that their city still looks very beautiful from space. I know it's very difficult for everybody in America right now. And um, I know folks are struggling very hard to, uh, to deal with this and recover from it. But uh, the country still looks good. And for New Yorkers, your city still looks great from up here. The next day, uh, I got a call from the ground. And uh, he said, Frank, I've got some bad news. Turned out that uh, the captain of America Airlines Flight 77 that had crashed into the Pentagon was a friend of mine, Chick Burlingame. This is Captain Frank Culbertson, United States Navy retired, the commander of the third expedition to the International Space Station. He and I had both been in the Drum and Bugle Corps together. I would like to remember our classmate, Chick Burlingame, the captain of American Airlines flight that, of course, crashed into the Pentagon. I was going to send a message down from space anyway for my classmates. TAPS is a bugle call that is played at the end of every day in the military, which means it's time to go to bed and turn the lights out. It's just a, a name for the end of the day. And it's sort of like the final farewell. 